this video, I'd like to discuss some of the power resources that are commonly used in small group communication and team interactions. So first, let's start off with what do we mean by power resources? Well, power resources are anything that enables individuals or groups to achieve their goals, assists others to achieve their goals, or interferes with the goal attainment of others. So, I mean, you can see that's a pretty broad definition, but it's really anything that can influence the group and influence individuals in that group, influence the direction of that group, or in, well, in positive or negative ways, right? So this could be things that, that help enhance your group uh, interaction, help enhance your group achievement, or it could be something that uh, inhibits your group achievement or or the group attain the goal attainment of other groups and things if you're trying to do that but we use power in all kinds of ways so um, so these are some of the just the specific power resources though that are utilized in expressing power in a group in and in utilizing power in a group so let's take a look at some of the individual power resources and then um, first we have information and information is so critical to any group and and to achievement of any goal really individual or group or otherwise so but but the information is such a necessary component to the group we need that input that inflow of information and so somebody who has that information has a great deal of power especially if you have information that that others don't have right so you have kind of that exclusivity of power of information so having that information is a, is a really critical power resource and can be very very useful in the group environment but more so than just having that information the ability to use that information in what we call expertise right and expertise is really the pairing of having that information and knowing how to use it and so as somebody who has both of those is really in the uh, you know what they call a catbird seat right really in a good position to to you know, kind of flex their power muscles within that group because they have maybe the ability not only to have that information but the ability to to utilize that information effectively to know how it applies and to know how to apply it in in that context and that gives them uh, a real power within the group and and so uh, you know expertise is a really really critical power resource really solid power resource to have within a group you can also have legitimate authority what we mean by that is just somebody who's Somebody who's in charge because they're in charge, either because of their authority position, because they're of their uh, their position in the hierarchy of that organization or in that group that they are in charge, so to speak. They're somebody's boss or they're somebody's supervisor. That could be a legitimate authority and the ability to express that and kind of give commands from that position. But it could also be somebody who's just uh, you know either really respected within the group and they have that authority, they have that influence to. To kind of not not necessarily control, but to, or maybe to control, but but also just to direct people and to to influence things in that way. So you could have that kind of legitimate authority that comes from a position of authority, from from some sense of you know having that kind of power. You may also have the ability to distribute and, and impact the group through the distribution of rewards and punishments, right? You know the old carrot and the stick. Uh, you know, the carrot's the reward and the stick is the punishment. Sometimes, you know, and a combination of both is what's necessary. But, um, but you know, we need to be cautious. Economists would tell you that not all incentive is helpful. Not all incentive is positive. Sometimes incentive, you know, carrots can be uh, a disincentive. Uh, and sometimes a stick can be a disincentive, too. I mean, depending on how it's used, you just need to understand the group and understand your position in that group and understand... Um, kind of what's going to be most effective in that context and and you know utilize both carefully then um, but you know a, a series of you know, rewards and or punishments uh, can be very effective especially if you have the power again to to enact those types of things then then they can be very helpful and very useful you may also just have these personal qualities um, that people respond to and that can be very powerful as well if you're very charismatic and somebody just that people follow as the you know i threw up a couple examples here in this powerpoint you have oprah you have steve jobs and you have the rock there uh, all of them have this sort of charisma about them that that, uh, that makes people want to kind of follow them and follow along with them and and uh, so it gives them that 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 sense of power, that leverage that they can use then to influence others and to influence the scope of events and in different ways. So um, it may just be your personal qualities that you're very charismatic. And again, we need to, to bear ethics in mind here, just like we do when we're using any of these things. We need to bear ethics in mind that these are all, you know, as power resources, they have the power to, to kind of do good for people and for a group or do bad for people in a group and so we want to be cautious that we're using the power that we have 
um, to, to enhance the group's abilities and to, to make the group more effective. Right. So, um, but these are these these are some core power resources: information, expertise, legitimate authority, rewards and punishments, and personal qualities that we can use to influence and impact on the outcomes of our groups and, and the outcomes of other groups as well. If you have questions about this or any other content regarding small group communication, I welcome your emails. I'd love to hear from you. I'm pretty, pretty quick to respond to emails, so so don't hesitate to, to hit me up via email then. In the meantime, happy communicating.